thanks for stopping by. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name's Laurie, and today we're going to be making this super cute little farmhouse chair. I used three signs from the Dollar Tree and a couple of dowels from Walmart. I will definitely list everything that you'll need below. This not only is such a cute little decor piece, you could actually use it as a centerpiece for a party. Maybe put a plate of cupcakes or cookies and decorate it up to the theme of the party. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, I would so love to have you as a member of my YouTube family. So please consider clicking that little subscribe button below. To begin, you're going to need one of the square Dollar Tree signs and two of the arrow signs. You're going to remove the little embellishment and save that for later and then remove the twine hanger. And now for the fun part, we're going to start removing the stickers and the outside layer of paper. I started at a corner and began to peel it back and it did come off pretty easily. Because I wanted the chair to have a textured look, I decided to cut on the smooth side of the sign. I then used my ruler to measure two and a half inches from the top and made sure that I marked it in a couple of different places. Make sure that the two holes where the hanger was attached are at the top. I then used my ruler to make a darker line and this is where we're going to be cutting. I placed my ruler on the pencil line and then I used my cutter and began scoring the cardboard. This is pretty thick cardboard so I began scoring it pressing down pretty firmly. The goal is not to cut through the cardboard but cut through enough that you can actually fold it in half. So I tried it after I scored it a few times and then it wouldn't give way so I went back and then I continued to score it again. You want to score just enough so you can fold it in half but that the cardboard still keeps its integrity. You then take the two sets of arrow signs and remove the ribbon hanger from both. Be sure to remove the staples and any of the little stickers in the back. And like the square sign, we're going to begin removing all of the top labels from all six of the arrows. And don't worry if they don't peel off perfectly because we're going to use a piece of sandpaper and just kind of file off the little rough edges. Now take two of your arrows and once again we're going to score them on the shiny side. Okay. So once again I opt to have a textured look so I'm going to use the rough side of the cardboard as my inside pieces. Using the flat edge of the arrow, I measured six and a half inches. Then after marking it, I used my ruler to draw a straight line across. Using the first arrow as a guide, I just used my ruler and placed the second arrow against it and then marked it. And just like we did with the large cardboard sign, I placed my two arrows together with my ruler and began to score it with my cutter. Once again, just be careful not to score them too deeply because we want them to keep their integrity. And continue doing this until they both fold in half just like the large cardboard sign. I then used four little plastic caps from water bottles and these are going to be the base of where you're going to place your legs. I placed a dab of hot glue on the flat side of the caps and then I placed a cap in each of the four corners. We're now going to attach the sides with the two folded arrows. I ran a bead of hot glue along the side of the cardboard and then I took my folded arrow and matched the two seams up together. It's important to make sure that the two seams are perfectly matched together. 
And then I just used my hot glue to secure the backing to the back of the arrow, making the side arm of your chair. And then I just repeated the same for the other side. And now we're going to take the four arrows and we're going to attach them to the back of the cardboard. Just using my hot glue gun, I placed a glob of glue on the shiny flat side of the arrow and then I just secured it into the backing of what is to be the chair. I continue to do this for all of the arrows, making sure that they fit tightly together. I then used my glue gun to run a bead of glue along all the edges of the scored cardboard. I also ran a bead of hot glue along the inside edges of the chair. To cover the staple holes left on the back of the arrows and to give the chair a little integrity, we're going to use one of the giant craft sticks. It measures 10 inches and we're just going to place some hot glue on it and then place it against the back of the chair, hiding the staple holes. We're going to use two 12 inch dowels that measure three quarters of an inch thick. I just used my ruler and found the center point, which was six inches, and cut them in half, and now we have our four legs. I then used my glue gun to attach each of them into the center of the little cap. They set up pretty quickly. I did hold them in place for probably 10 or 15 seconds. To give the base of the chair some integrity, we're going to use four of the giant craft sticks. They did hang over a little bit, so I just used my scissors and snipped off each of the rounded ends. And I did this for both the front and the back legs. I used a little dab of hot glue on each of the ends and make sure you attach them on the inside of the legs. The sides of the chair are shorter, so I measured the sticks at seven inches each, and then I just matched them up and cut them. I then used my hot glue to attach them to the outside of the chair legs, making sure they were placed directly across from the two that were placed on the inside legs. I then gave the chair a heavy coat of matte finish to protect the cardboard. And if you don't have the spray finish, you can always use Mod Podge. And once that was completely dry, I then took my white spray paint and I completely sprayed the chair. I took the sun that was originally on the front of the sign and then I just used a little sandpaper to just kind of sand off the glitter and to sand off the little residue that the sticker left. And after that was done, I used my white acrylic paint and I gave both sides a couple of good heavy coats. I noticed a few nooks and crannies that the spray paint didn't reach. so. I used the rest of the acrylic paint and I just kind of touched up the chair in those spots. And once the little sun was dried, I used some glue and I attached it to the back of the chair where the two little arrows came together. Now this is completely optional, but I wanted to give the chair a little bit of a 3D look to it. So I simply took a napkin and I just had a tiny, tiny bit of water on the end and a sharp pencil. And just using the side of my pencil, I ran it on the outside edges of the chair, and then I followed along the inside lines of the chair. And then I used my napkin, and I ran it along the pencil lines just to kind of soften the color up a little bit.
And after I was done with the front, I turned it around and I just kind of accented the little sun that was on the back and then used my napkin to kind of soften up the colors there too. And once it was complete, I gave the whole chair a coat of the clear mat. I hope you had fun making this chair with me. I had a blast. And please don't forget to click that subscribe button so we can hang out together again soon. Bye, everybody.